So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple batch file. Um, this is going to be the first episode in, um, I'm not sure how long this is, this series is going to take, but yeah. So, um, first what you want to do to make a batch file is you would want to open some kind of word making thing. I'm not sure what works. Um, I know Notepad works and WordPad works in Microsoft Word. So I'm pretty sure Notepad plus Notepad plus plus works, but I'm not totally sure. So um, once you have this open, you just make a full screen. Or oh, my face cam's in the way. Uh, it's gonna be a pain. Let's put this down here. Okay. So. First, I guess what you'd want to do is, I'll be teaching you some simple commands. First one um, is echo off. So basically what this means is, if you write a command and it programs the batch file to do something, it will not show up. Like, I'll show you. Um, echo hi you to now I'll show you I'm just like doing past this like really simply because I just want to show you so I got this on here so if I open oh Or I guess I'll show you that in a future video, but hi YouTube. Now it didn't like okay. And then hi YouTube. So this is the command echo is the command to write something. So if you put echo and hi, it will program hi. Now if I didn't put echo off then it would say all the commands that it did, like echo was the command, and then hi YouTube. So, and then it print out hi YouTube. And that's not what we want, so... Yeah, we want echo off. So, yeah, um, those are the first two commands. Echo is probably... Echo and echo off are the easiest commands. So, oh, I'll just write that. Hi... YouTube again, I guess. So what pause does at the end of a sentence is there's a different. I'll show you uh, s uh, set slash p after, but it does basically the same thing as pause. But I'll show you that in a future episode when you more when you know more about batch files. But for now, what pause does is it makes it so. Like I'll show you. Without pause, the window just go away because it doesn't know any better. But if you program it, pause, it's self-explanatory. It just makes it so the window doesn't go away. Like, oh. Hi, YouTube. And what I do is, um, I do pause dot, or pause... I don't know what that is. I forget what it is. And then null, N-U-L. What that does is it basically... Wait. I'll do... Pause. So press any key to continue. Okay, and it just closes the window. But what null does is it just doesn't tell you to press any key to continue. So and then it says, hi, YouTube. Self-explanatory. And then same thing as pause, except it doesn't tell you that you have to press a key. So, uh, yeah, um, that is going to be the first episode of, uh, not sure how long the series is going to be, but, um, yeah, those are your first three commands. You can fool around with those. Um, I'll teach you how to make, like, um, how to put, make it so you can have user input to make it do certain commands, you can do certain stuff with your computer and uh, stuff like that. And um, lastly, what you want to do 
is if you have like a batch file like this, what you want to do is you want to click save as whatever you want, like before I put test dot bat and dot bat is a bat file. You can have like different bat files. Like if you if you first click save as, it will be uh, like whatever dot txt and that is a text file. But this is a bat file, short for batch, which is like a Windows cuss like. It's like it's like a program. It's customizes Windows and stuff. So yeah, and then you want to click all files, and uh, yeah, that will be your batch file. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this first episode, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in episode two. Bye bye.